What is happening and welcome to Photography Talk episode 142. Now friends, it's been a pretty quiet week in the world of photography, but there are a few headlines that I wanted to share with you. Now, first of all, more and more compact cameras are being discontinued. It seems, I mean, this is really no big surprise. Smartphones have finally killed off compacts or it's chipping away at it more and more. And we'll also take a look at upcoming lens from Canon that wildlife and sports photographers will certainly be excited about. Now, in other Canon news, uh, there are a few RFS lens patents that point to a rapid expansion of the RFS lineup. Now, we'll also discuss these lenses in just a moment or what they might be. But first, friends, look, every single week we put these videos together in small little bite-sized little news nuggets full of the top uh, stories for the week. Now, of course, if you find some value, like I ask every single video, look, if you can hit that like button down below, there's that whole YouTube algorithm and that really vibes off of you hitting that like button. Hell, so do we as well. So we do appreciate it. That said, let's shift gears and get on to this week's headlines. Now, a couple weeks ago, we discussed how compact cameras are quickly being removed from active production. Well, more models are getting the ax. Now, Nikon and Panasonic have both stated that they will no longer produce entry-level compacts. Fujifilm has also ceased production of its fine picks point-and-shoot cameras. Now, as for Sony and Canon, there's been really no official word that they'll be out of the compact camera business, but neither one has released a new entry-level point-and-shoot camera in hell a handful of years. Now, obviously, since the rise of smartphones in their continued development as a legitimate camera system has really led to the death or the compact camera systems really going downhill. It just doesn't make sense for camera makers to try to compete with the likes of Apple or Samsung, whose smartphones have much more utility than a compact camera. Now, if you're in the Canon EOS R ecosystem and you've been patiently waiting for an RF 300 2.0 L IS USM, friend, the wait won't much be or the wait won't be much longer. Now, according to Rumor Mill, the lens will be released soon. Now, this is based on the fact that prototypes of this lens are actually out in the world being tested as we speak. Now, there's really been no official word when the lens will be released, but the consensus seems that this will likely come out during the first half of 2023, which isn't that far away. Now, the, when the lens is released, shooters will find that it's much lighter and much shorter than the EF mount counterpart that has been out for some time. In fact, the R version is apparently about one third lighter and one third shorter. Now, a lighter, more compact telephoto lens is sure to be a big hit with photographers, particularly those that enjoy wildlife and sports photography. And, and thinking about this, this reminded me a few years back when I was with Nikon. Actually, this is jumping back about a decade. I was shooting with, I think, the D800 or the 850 at the time. Uh, I, went, I picked up a 302.8 Nikon version, and that thing was a honker of a lens. And it's funny because I only had it for about eight months because when you have a backpack, you know, that big lens occupies most of that with your camera attached to it. You might have room for another smaller lens. So seeing that manufacturers are going to be really shortening, it's like when uh, Nike or uh, Canon came out with that, that new shorty 70 to 200. And then you look at some of the subsequent lenses that they came out and they're getting smaller, lighter, which is really cool, especially on a big lens like this. Now, another interesting thing about this lens is that it will be the second longest Canon lens with a 2.8 aperture. Now, currently right now, the longest is the RF 400 millimeter 2.8 lens, which is $12,000. Now, speaking of price, there's been no word on what this lens might cost, but given the price point of the 400 2.8, it's safe to say the 300 2.8 it's not going to be cheap. Anyways, we'll keep you updated as more details come out on this lens, so stay tuned on that. Now, Canon apparently has plans to expand its lineup of APS-C lenses sooner rather than later, which, of course, everybody's going to be thrilled about that, or at least folks that are shooting with these sort of lenses. Now, the company recently filed patent for new lens coatings, but the patent includes optical formulas for three RFS lenses, each of which 
are primes. Now the list includes an RF S 21 millimeter 1.8, the RF S 24 millimeter 1.8, and the RF S 28 millimeter 1.8. Now it's highly doubtful that all three of these lenses will make it into production given how close these focal lengths are. And as I always warn, just because it shows up as a patent doesn't mean that it'll ever show up on the store shelves. However, the RFS lineup really needs some additional firepower, considering the only current listed on Canon website is the RF 18 to 150, that's a 3.5 to 6.3 IS STM, which is currently on back order. Now, full frame lenses can be used on Canon's new EOS R7 and the R10 cameras, but having a selection of these less expensive, RFS lenses would make both of these cameras much more attractive to beginner and intermediate photographers. So if you fall into that category, you'll have to be just a little bit more patient. More RF lenses are coming, but what they will be and when they will be released is still a little bit of mystery. Well, friends, as I warned you in the beginning, it's been a little bit uh, quiet in this in the photography world this week. So let's shift gears and talk about our current giveaway. Now we have three great prizes, starting off with a Holdfast Remographer bag, a Holdfast leather camera strap, and of course, the $100 Amazon gift card. As always, entering the giveaway is really simple. Step one, like this video and subscribe to our channel. Step two, leave a comment below. In fact, the more of our videos that you watch and leave a comment on, the more chances that you have to win. So get watching some more of the videos and leave some comments. Step three, Red Strong Photography Talk and introduce yourself in the forum. Now, if you happen to have already registered on this site, you're still eligible to win. But as I keep saying over and over again, swing and buy, say hello post some photos. We would love to see them. And friend, that is it for complete details on the giveaway, including how to register on Photography Talk or how to say hello in the forum. Check out the description below. Good luck. And actually, one last thing before I go jumping out of here. If you enjoy this sort of content, be sure to head over to Photography Talk, sign up for an account. It's free to do so, friend, and it gives you access to literally thousands of photography-related articles on the site, including news articles about camera gear, photography tutorials, and much, much more. So take a moment, sign up for an account, and get material, or get access to material, rather, that will help you take your best shot. And that is officially it here for today, friends. But as always, before I go signing off here, sure would appreciate you do all that YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, and hit that bell. So therefore, you don't miss a single video just like this one right here. So friends, that is it. So you get out there, stay healthy, and take your best shot.